So now I'm going to show you how to uh, work with the Reaction Manager. And if you already know how to use it, you might want to skip this part up to the end of the video. So let's create two boxes. And I make the little box, uh, the displacement of the little box in the x-axis. Um, I will make it scale the blue box, this big blue box. Uh, up and down. To do this, I will open the Reaction Manager dialog uh, under Animation and press the black cross here to add the little box as a master object and uh, select Transform Position X Position. And under this, uh, I will add the blue, the big blue box as its slave, um, and select Transform Scale. Okay. And now what I am going to do is I will add uh, three states. Um, states are like sort of keys, uh, and uh, they tell the system uh, how to modify uh, the slave uh, according to the value of the property of the master that it's, uh, it's its driver, so to speak. So this will be our default state, and I will add uh, another more. Uh, well, I better add it again. First, first thing, I'll move uh, the box, and now add a state, and now uh, press edit mode here, and select the box, the blue box, and scale it up. So, okay, press edit mode again, and now you will see that as I move from the first position to the second, the box, the blue box, is being scaled up and down. But we will do another example. For example, uh, I want this uh, light blue box to scale when it moves from this first point with the led to this second. I want it to do the same thing but past this point and up to a second point, I will create a new state now. Uh, I want I want the the box to scale down again. So I will select the last state I created, hit edit mode, select the blue box and scale it down again. And now you'll see as I move back the light blue box is creating this other kind of movement. Uh, when I pass the first point and I'm going through to the second. And you can do the same thing with every every transformation, with every controller assigned to any object. And you can even modify uh, several transforms at the same time and several transforms in uh, several objects. Say that you wanted to uh, make the y-axis movement of the light blue box to uh, rotate the box, the other box, the big box. What we will do is uh, we will add again the blue box as slave, the same way that we did before, but instead of selecting a scale, 
we will select rotation, for example, in the C axis. All right, and now uh, we will add some. We can uh, either add new states, completely separate states, or uh, oh, damn, I erased it. Control C. Or you can add this new uh, uh, this new slave transform that we have created to the uh, states that we already have, and you do that you do that by pressing this uh, arrow uh, button, yeah, the arrow with the plus sign by its side, and so I'm adding it to our first and second state and now I, I will edit these states to tell the system how how do I want it how, how do I want this box to rotate as I move the blue box so it's okay uh, with our first tape I'm gonna leave it just as it is and now uh, you don't have to use this edit mode. You can also uh, punch in the values uh, directly. For example, I will punch here 180 degrees, and in the third one, I'm going to put like something crazy, 1,000. And we'll we'll now take a look at the behavior we have created. So right now, as I move from the first point to the second, uh, the box starts to scale up and rotate slightly, and then moving from the second to the third point, it will scale down the same way that uh, it did before, but it will also rotate. Uh, very rapidly from 180 degrees to 1000. So you can create uh, very complex motions with this. Basically all you want to. And uh, the curve of the, mov of the movement, you can also edit it like setting points in this graph here, in these figures. For example, say that I w want uh, the rotation of the uh, big blue box instead of go so quickly up, uh, say that I want it to stop for a moment before it scales up again. I will add another point and make it flat between uh, the second state and this new point. So now you will see uh, the big blue box start rotating and scaling up. Now it should, oh, it's, it stops, but just for a little while. Yeah, from here to a big, a bit later, and then it rotates again. Well, it's, it has modified the curve, and now it does not rotate so much. I will scale this up again. Now here we go, scaling up and rotating a bit, then, then stopping, stop, it stops rotating for a little bit, and then goes crazy again. So take your time to play with this dialogue and uh, understand how it's working. See that you have a lot of possibilities. It's very, very useful and you don't need to uh, code or anything. 
to be able to use it. So I'm I'm wrapping up this part of the tutorial and we'll jump to an example on how I did the mouse, which is the point in, in which I started my rigging. Uh, so I, I could have jumped directly to this point, but I consider uh, to take this 10 minutes and introduce you to all of these dialogues and features, just in case you didn't know them.